Psychic healer Chris Cole on a current affair almost a decade ago. Back then, Cole was claiming she could heal the sick all for a price. Today, the suburban grandmother is still getting rich at the expense of others, this time by using a cruel magic trick. My father was recently diagnosed with advanced liver cancer. It starts with an email. He has decided against any treatment. He was introduced to psychic surgeon Chris Cole. My dad visited this woman. A bizarre and chilling account. She claims to be removing bad tissue from his abdomen whilst penetrating below the skin with only her hands. So I'm going for an appointment as a liver cancer victim. Now I've discovered psychic surgeon Chris Cole is many other things as well. She's the Reverend Chris Cole, head of her self-styled religion, the Orthodox Catholic Church of Australia. She has degrees in law and social science, and she's a PhD student at a Sydney university. She's also a grandmother of eight. But none of this prepares me for her treatment. Chris seems uninterested in my liver cancer, asks no questions about it, but starts to work immediately with both hands on, or is that in, my navel. Within a few seconds, red stuff is coming from my stomach as her hands squirrel down deep. I panic. How much blood can I lose? Don't worry, she says. It's not my blood, just a manifestation. She mops it away with a towel. I'm in absolutely no pain. And as she was doing it, I observed there was a piece of meat at the, at the navel. Eight yeah. years ago, we exposed Chris Cole as a shonk, operating without a license and raking in thousands of dollars a week from desperately sick people. This you is a set up. This is I'm sorry, set why up. are you so upset? We've had, we've had some blood analog. I'm sorry, but you, that's harassing. We thought we'd managed to shut down Chris Cole, but we were wrong. Now home-based, she's still ripping off the sick with her brand of false hope and sleight of hand. Back then, the price was $100 for an eight-minute session. Today, it's $145, cash only, and I had three sessions in the same morning. But the price isn't all that's changed, the law. What Chris Cole is doing and charging is now under the control of health authorities. Any violations of conduct can bring 12 months jail. Is it quackery? Oh yes, it's quackery of the first water. Dr Richard Gordon, GP and sceptic. People with a serious illness, particularly cancer, are tremendously vulnerable to the suggestion that they do something else. And they've heard that there's a person who's cured cancer, um, or they've heard of some treatment or other that might be worth doing that's um, either in Australia or overseas, and it becomes a very powerful suggestion. Go to the Philippines. Philippines? What's in the Philippines? This type of fake surgery started in the Philippines town of Baggio, where Chris Cole studied her art. It's been sucking desperate cancer sufferers in for years. In the true life movie, Man on the Moon, Jim Carrey goes for a cure, sees the con, and dies laughing. <laughs> so do you know what she's doing? Absolutely. You, you're quite certain? A hundred percent. You've seen this before then? Yes, many times. Sean Taylor is master of this deception. He's Australia's highest qualified magician. So she's got a little device and some very simple but crude magician techniques. So her left hand is hiding a secret? Absolutely, yeah. It's guilt. You were actually lying down on... He analysed our video of Chris Cole. Now, you'll remember from the video where she came in the door mm -hmm. and at that point she was in fact all ready to go, uh, which is why she looked very awkward as she was walking in. And she had her hand very obviously held down behind her, left hand with the towel. And at this point now I'm able to use the towel to uh, again mask my hands yeah. and mask all of the uh, secret stuff that's going on here that allows the manifestation to appear yeah. on his tummy. But there's nothing in your hands, is there? Oh, uh, well, it doesn't appear as such, but no. in fact there is. Let me show you. There's uh, a little cylinder right here, a little plastic cylinder. Where did that come from? And this cylinder is being held in my hand in a very simple magician technique to uh, get the manifestation onto the tummy. And she's charging how much? 145 for an average eight minute session. 
You do three sessions wow. on a visit. Jesus, I charge $52 for 15 minutes. If you have someone who seems very knowledgeable, has a range of degrees on their wall, uh, gets you undressed, touches you, I mean, people feel better when they're touched, then for a short period of time, the person will feel better. Chris Cole charged me $435 for her 18 minutes of magical mumbo jumbo. She was quick to close the door on our transaction and she doesn't give receipts. But I didn't walk away empty handed. I'd managed to wipe a trace of that manifestation on my trousers. There's a possibility that it is blood, it may be animal blood. Senior forensic scientist you know. at a major testing laboratory, Carol Field. We were not able to detect human blood. So what is this fluid, if not human? In 1999, we were able to show Chris Cole was using pig's blood on her patients. The delay in diagnosis or the delay in proper treatment that can result from her administrations can certainly lead to a worsening or even worsening of someone's cancer or perhaps their earlier death. Hi Chris. Oh. Howard Gibbs from A Current oh. Affair, how are you? Not again. What you're doing is shameful. No, no. You are deceiving sick people. You don't You are you offering don't know, false you, hope. You don't know anything about my work. What do you use? A, a little thumb, is it? Is that what you do? With your are left you hand? You're joking. Is that it? You're joking. You came into you, my house and pretended to be you're something that you're not. You're no, really you're just a scammer, a scammer and using simple is, magic no, tricks. No, no. And no, that no. is a very morally wrong thing to do. Where's the blood come from? I'm not going to answer your no, questions. No, you are verging on the evil. You never talk to any of my patients. Some pictures don't lie. You're not my patient. And I'm afraid you <coughs> have been caught. Unbelievable. It is unbelievable, isn't it? Howard Gibbs with that report and the Healthcare Complaints Commission and Department of Fair Trading have requested copies of our tapes and are now investigating Chris Cole. We'll let you know the outcome.